All right, everyone, welcome to another episode of Yonin's Edge. In episode 26 today, I'm going to be reviewing the Hogue Knives EX03. Basic specs on this knife, it uses a 154 cm blade. It is a drop point with a flat, mid-flat grind. It has a nice swage on the top of it up here, too. It uses a tumbled, silver-washed finish for durability. The knife uses a black polymer handle with two different textures um, that are very much a representative of Hogue. The knife uses all stainless steel hardware throughout. And it has a usable fine edge of three and three eighths of an inch with a nice little sharpening choil right here in the back. It is four and a half inches from the front to the back of the scale. I did not include the little pommel. And it has an overall tip to tail length of eight and one eighth inches. The weight on this knife is 4.3 ounces on my digital scale. And I also need to point out that this knife does come in both a three and a half inch blade version, which is what this one is, and a four inch blade version. There's no other differences in the knife other than the length of the blade and just a tiny bit of extra length to the scale slash grips to accommodate the blade length, but they're identical knives otherwise. This is an Elschwitz design. He designs a lot of Hoag's knives. So let's talk about what I like. First of all, like every Hoag knife that I own and every one that I've held, the build quality on this knife is excellent. The 154 CM blade came out of the box very sharp. And like all the other Hogue knives I've seen and handled, the factory edge on this knife, while not being a mirror finish, is pretty close to it. I, I'm convinced that Hogue probably puts the nicest edges on their production knives of any of the big manufacturers that I've seen out there. Again, it's not a perfect mirror finish, but man, it's a really nice edge. And it's even on both sides. There's no burn marks. I've, I've never, I've never encountered that with Hogue. So the, the edges they put on their knife right out of the box are really, really good quality edges. This still has the factory edge. I have stropped it a few times in the approximately year I've owned it, but it's still got the original edge on it. So that's the other thing I would, I would say as a plus here is, uh, the 154 blade steel obviously has been heat treated well by Hogue and has held up really well to, a lot, a lot of everyday use and lots of different types of cutting tasks that I've exposed it to. And you can't really tell this finish really holds up really well and doesn't show uh, wear and tear very, very much at all. The ergos on the knife are solid. So it offers a couple of different hand positions. You've got this basic one here. There's plenty of grip sticking out even for me with a large glove size hand. There's more room down here if you have bigger fingers. So you can get in this position here very comfortably where the scalloping is, the relief is. There's meaningful jimping on the blade. There's nice jimping on the top of the knife right here. There's even jimping back here where it rests into your palm swell. And then the other thing that I, and some on the back down here, which is really nice where your back finger's set. You can see there's jimping there as well. And then the other thing that's really nice is because they designed this little flat here, on the bottom side of the blade behind the sharpening choil, you can actually move up to this position and you're still not anywhere near that sharpening choil. You can get in this position really well. Now, you, this feels really solid. You can put a lot of cutting pressure down on this blade and you don't have to get anywhere near the edge, the fine edge cutting um, surface. So again, I like that a lot. The button lock is good. The knife opens and closes, whether you're doing it with the button lock or with the thumb studs. And another cool feature that this knife has is it has this lock here for the button lock. So if you push that forward, you just heard it snap. This thing cannot be closed. If you're doing a lot of hard cutting or you're gonna use this knife for a lot of tasks and you don't wanna have to worry about that, you just snap that forward and you don't have to worry about it. It fix, fixes the blade on the knife to be locked, and you don't ever have to worry about accidentally hitting the button and deploying the knife by accident. 
that comes right back off and the knife flips right back closed. So again, uh, the button lock's accessible from both sides. I will say this, that the pocket clip, while it is reversible from tip up to tip down, it is only a right-hand side pocket carry, so it is not reversible to both sides. Also with the texturing here, I'm gonna put this up a little closer. We'll see if we can zoom in on that, there you go. You can see that there's a nice pebbling finish over the whole knife, and then on this side, they did the trademark Hogue pebbling here, and that's just exceptionally good, man. This knife feels great in your hand. Um, also, covering all the details, they took that away on this side so that the knife really will slide in and out of your pocket without catching or grabbing on, any, on anything. Then the clip has enough thickness to it back here to accommodate a pretty thick pair of pants, so um, I'm very happy with that too. So overall, like I said, fit and finish wise and ergonomics wise, the knife is really, really solid. Feels good in your hand, no hot spots, two different hand positions. Um, one note about the clip also, a lot of people um, that have reviewed this knife in the past have said, man, the clip is really ugly. So looks aside, folks, this is not a show knife. This is a work knife. And the thing with this clip is, this spoon style clip is perfect. It's absolutely perfect for this knife. The knife doesn't move around in your pocket. The clip sets nice and deep. It's, it's well constructed. Um, honestly, like I just feel like this, this clip is perfect for this knife. Yes, yes, it's not a deep carry clip. It doesn't come all the way up to the back of the knife. But then again, you know, this is a, 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 a usage knife, a work knife. And for that purpose, I feel like this clip is very, very good. It's very comfortable. You don't feel it in your hand at all. That Where that actually sets is here in that kind of fatty, meaty part of your hand. And you really don't feel this clip at all. So design-wise, it may not be the prettiest thing, but it works flawlessly. So a couple of other quick, really quick things here. Um, you know I talk about balance points on knife, knives a lot. They hit a home run on this one. So the balance point on this knife is right just a few millimeters behind the pivot screw on this knife. So this knife is balanced perfectly right in this area right here, and it just sets there really nice. There you go. It sets there really nice. So when you've got this in your hand, whether you're in the standard position or you're in the choked up position, the, the knife feels really well balanced. Why is that so important? Because Balance knives are easier to cut with. You get a better feel for them. But also, they managed to do that with only having a partially inset stainless steel liner. If you can see here, it's, it's sort of in-molded, which Hogue is famous for. Here's the stainless steel liner on that side. and that's, It only comes back to about right here. So it's, it's this area here of the knife. The back of the knife just has some... Um, some steel insets that stainless steel insets that help you put the pocket clip and what have you in there so the fact that there's very little metal back here on the back of the knife and yet they've been able to get the balance point right here behind the pivot like right near where the front of your your index finger is that's fantastic i mean i'm big on balance points on knives and knives that are way out of balance i don't typically like to use or cut with this knife is almost perfectly balanced right where it's supposed to be. So again, Hogue, you get big thumbs up for that one too. So let's do a couple of quick comparisons and then I'll wrap up the rest of the review. So here we have the EX-03. I'm gonna show you a knife that's a little smaller and then a knife that's around the same size. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the Kaiser Original. Just to give you an idea, it's a popular knife. A lot of people own these these days. You can see how much smaller the Kaiser Original is overall. And then we're going to show you the Demco 8020.5, which is in the same general size range. I will tell you this, as thin and nimble as the Demco feels in your hands in a lot of ways, the Hogue feels big and rugged and it feels like it has a lot more accommodation for people who have bigger hands. And I, I would say that that is definitely true, the way that it feels is a good representation. So there's a couple of comparisons for you. So overall, I haven't had any issues with the EX-03 
in the almost year that I've used it. I've carried it a lot. I've used it for a lot of tasks. Um, there are a couple of things to note. The back of the knife has what Hogue calls an impact pommel. <laughs> and there it is, as you can see. Um, I've thought about grinding it off a couple times. It never really gets in my way, but I think it's kind of a gimmicky thing. It, it, the knife is a polymer handled knife. It doesn't have steel liners back here. I don't know how I would feel about trying to use this to smash on anything. I guess maybe you could break a glass window in a car with it, possibly. But I just think that's kind of something that didn't really need to be on this knife. It's a little bit, a tiny bit gimmicky. But it doesn't really interfere with the use of the knife. So, again, I'll let that go. And then... The tolerances, the tolerances on this knife are really tight. It is a really well-built, well-machined knife. There's no play or slop anywhere. There's no button stick. None of those things that you sometimes experience on button lock knives and knives in these categories. With that being said, this is not a fidgety knife. You can hit the button lock and sling the blade open and closed, but it's really not a fidgety knife. It's a really solid, tight knife that you, you can't get any movement or play out of. So if you're looking at this as a knife that you might want to sit on the couch and fidget with, this is not your knife. This is a hard-use, everyday carry, cutting utensil. So with that said, um, this knife is around $130 for the 3.5-inch blade version. It is a solid offering from Hogue. I would recommend this as an EDC work knife to almost anyone, as I would with many of Hogue's knives. I, I can definitely say that. But this knife, I most definitely can recommend. I will continue to carry this and put this knife into use um, in the field and for a lot of different hard-use tasks. So again, that is the Hogue EX-03, made 100% in the United States by Hogue Knives. All right, folks, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel for future reviews. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And as always, folks, stay sharp.